Over on Capitol Hill, a new immigration policy from the Biden administration will allow some undocumented immigrants to stay and work here in the U.S. The plan offers protection to immigrants who are married to U.S. citizens and have lived in the country for at least 10 years. Our Washington, D.C. correspondent Hannah Brandt has the details. This is expected to impact about half a million immigrants currently living in the U.S. and will give them a pathway to live and work here permanently. Immigration advocates are cheering President Biden's new policy. It's good for America, period. He announced plans to allow undocumented immigrants married to U.S. citizens to apply for permanent residency and eventually citizenship without risk of deportation. To qualify, the immigrant has to have lived in the U.S. for 10 years and be married to a citizen as of Monday. These couples have been raising families, sending their kids to church and school, paying taxes, contributing to our country for every for 10 years or more. The move comes on the heels of the president's recent border crackdown, restricting crossings into the U.S. We can both secure the border and provide legal pathways to citizenship. Democrats are praising the new executive actions, with Senator Alex Padilla calling them bold and exciting. Not just bringing uh, fairness and justice, but hope and opportunity. But Republicans like Senator Joni Ernst are slamming the new policy. President Biden has rolled out the red carpet for illegal migrants. And the president's chief political rival is criticizing the announcement, too. Crooked Joe is sending a message to the world that he rewards illegal entry. Former President Donald Trump contrasted the new policy with his own immigration plans. We're going to get him out as fast as we can. We're going to have the largest deportation. But President Biden accused Trump of using the hotly contested issue for political gain. Folks, I'm not interested in playing politics with the border or immigration. I'm interested in fixing it. Around 50,000 undocumented children could also qualify for this new process. In Washington, I'm Hannah Brandt.